Hi there. Today I want to show you the differences between control points, edit points and solid points when you're creating or editing geometry in Rhino. So let's start with an interpolate points curve. I'm going to put the degree at 2 and the knots to uniform. When I draw these points you'll see that the curve is forced through the points. If I do another curve with a degree at 9 the curve becomes a little bit more extreme and more reactive and the points which I put later on in the curve still affect the curve quite early on. I'm going to do another one quickly and change the knots to square root chord. You'll see it's a much less reactive curve. With a control point curve I'm going to set the degree to 2 and start drawing the points but you'll see that the curve doesn't actually go through the points. The control points act as like magnets which draw the curve towards the control points. If I change that degree to 9 and start drawing again you'll see that the magnets seem to be like less powerful. So I can draw points very very far away and the curve is fit through those points in a much smoother way. Now if I do the handle curve it's similar to like Photoshop where you, you create a handle and then you go to the next point create another handle go to the next point create another handle and so forth. If I turn the edit points on for these curves by typing edit points on you can see that each of these curves can actually be fitted through these points. So I can take these points and start moving them around. And this might be classified as a kink, so it's not a smooth transition to the next point. I can also do the same with any of these other curves. The edit points allow the curve to be fit through those points. Each of these curves also have control points. So if I do points on, you'll see that I can take those what I think are magnets and move them around and the curve will be attracted towards those points. This interpolate curve over here which had a degree of 9 you can see that it has control points which are very very far away from the curve itself. That shows how the degree affects the curve. Let's have a look at open surfaces. I've got a surface here and it's degree 2 and I'm going to take one of these points and I'm going to lift it up and you can see that the surface is being magnetized or pulled towards that point. If I take this surface over here, rebuild it to degree 9, and do the same thing with one of the points, so I'm going to move it vertically to the same elevation, you'll see that it, it does the same thing but it's uh, much smoother and it covers a much larger area. When changing the degree, it affects the function in how that NURB surface is drawn towards that control point. Let's have a look at open poly surfaces. Um, unlike open surfaces, they don't have control points, so you can't rebuild it. Um, and you cannot take one of these points across the surface and move them up in the way that you did with an open surface, so the surface won't be drawn to that point. However, you can turn the solid points on with the command solid points on, and you can take the corners, um, the vertices, and you can move them just as you would with a curve. And when I do that, you can see how um, a saddle is created because the edges have been moved and with this NURB surface, um, it is interpreting the surface through the edges. If I turn the points on for a mesh, which is, uh, they're actually control points, and do the same thing, I'm going to take these two parts of the mesh and move them up. You'll see that there's no saddle. This is just a like a wedge. And that's because it's not a NURBS. There's no mathematical rules going through it. It's simply that the face of the mesh is triangulated through three points here. So you get a flat mesh face there. And finally, with a closed poly surface, you can also edit the solid points. So we'll turn the solid points on. And it brings up the corners. And you can take those vertices. You can move them around. And with this NURBS poly surface, the geometry will be adjusted so you can see that that saddle is also being created. So there you have it. Um, you can see that all of these different types of curves, the different types of NURB surfaces, um, open surfaces and poly surfaces and closed poly surfaces, they all use points in different ways to construct the geometry that we see. If you enjoyed this video please like, subscribe and consider mentioning it to your friends if you think they'll find it useful. Cheers!